Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're in the homeland, Staten Island, New York. We're back. Used to be filming in Orlando, down there for a couple weeks. That is all the vlogs you've been seeing for the last few months. And now we are back to the HQ, Staten Island, New York. We're at South Shore Golf Course, and we're here to make some birdies today. Let's get right into the video. South Shore, I appreciate you watching. Let's get into it. So let's hop right into it here. We're home, Staten Island, New York, South Shore Golf Course, also known as Grand Oaks Country Club. That was a power play move by someone here. They're like, why don't we just call it just something different? Just kind of like, can I add some pizzazz to it? So I respect the move. So we'll call it Grand Oaks Country Club right now because we're gonna be fancy. This is the first hole, nice little dog leg left, par four. A little bit of a blind, you know, tee shot over that hill, getting over the hump here, trying to get a nice high draw to start our day. South Shore. That's a high cut, wrong shot shape. This is gonna be over those right trees. And a little bit right of where we'd want it. So trying to play a high draw, play a high cut. And, uh, and here we find ourselves. Let's go make par here at the first. All right, so a little block there off the first tee. Didn't quite turn it over, trying to make up for it though. Nice and open on the right side of this hole, thankfully. I got just a wedge left, about a buck 40 to that front pin. Let me put a good swing on her. It's right at it. Let's see if I got the number right. Pierce so. A good shot. Go make a birdie here. I'm talking about par on the first hole, by the way. We're here to make birdies. Not here to make pars. Let's do it. So we got a dime thrown in there, folks. Last you guys have seen us on the channel, we were down in Florida. This is our first time back in the promised land of Staten Island, New York. And we got a good approach shot to start off the summer vlogs up here in NY. So did not roll any putts beforehand. Not quite sure how these are rolling, but they look pretty pure though. I'm gonna play this just on the right edge of the cup. Try and drop one, get under par here quick. Oh, man. Maybe a little too much speed, right line. Right on the, uh, right, on the right edge, right where I wanted to hit it. A little too aggressive, I think. So four times there at the first, a little two putt. No harm, no foul though. We'll take it, on to two. So we'll take that par. Take the par at the first. Really good approach out there from behind the trees. Trying to get greedy and sneak a birdie in there. Not meant to be. Got a nice gettable par five here though at the second hole. A little dog leg right. I'm trying to hit a little baby fade around the corner. In a good position to try and get this thing at two here. Get under par. Ah, that's pulled. See if it stays in. A little bit of a double cross. And we're okay up there. So just kind of hit it bad enough, I guess. Stayed a little short of the crap on the left, but I think we got away with it. Try and put it on the green here at two at the, at the second. So a uh, little bit of a tug off the tee there. Got lucky though. Kept it out of the crap here on the left, but a little bit of tree trouble. Nothing too crazy. I really don't think it should be in the way at all. We still have 205 to that front edge. So I'm hitting a five iron which should stay plenty low with these trees right in front of us. So not trying to overthink this one. Try to hit a little, probably a little low draw in there. Got to really step on this one to get it to that front edge. See what we can do. A little low cut, not the best swing. Front right of the green. Get up there. Yeah, so short. That was a weird swing. For some reason, still a little afraid of that tree, even though it was like pretty much nowhere near me. So. We'll get it up and down though. Try and make our birdie nonetheless. So oh, just a, an odd swing there from the trees. Tried to play a nice little low draw, kind of a low cut. Slid right past it, opened the club face, lock going down. But the good thing about a par five and a short par five is that we still have a great opportunity to go ahead and make a birdie. So pretty straightforward. You got a little bit of a backboard there behind the pin. I'm gonna try and not even take that on. I think that would be silly. Just trying to play this up to the right of that hole. Let it trickle right back down to the pin. Hopefully a tap in birdie here. Should come down a little. Oh, I did put it up the hill. Come on down. Come on. Good, good. Bring it on back. Let's go finish it up. So I was talking about not taking on that back slope, but Cool part about having a backboard is even if you don't mean to, go a little deep, 
he got some help, which is nice. So just a couple feet here now for our bird. I think it just wants to come down to my left a little. It's gonna go inside right of the cup. So those are tough. Those are tough. I uh, said it was going a little left. It did just that. The read was so good. The optimist in me is like, you read it, you read it just correctly. But the second part of usually making putts is not only reading the putt, but then hitting it to where you read the putt too. So I knew it was breaking left, went ahead and just tried to jar it home center of the cup. And a two putt from five feet. That's a par there at the second. So I'll just say that I've made better pars before in my life. I've made better pars than that. That's a tough, tough two putt par from five feet. Probably five feet generous. That was about three feet maybe at best. So um, tough miss there, but we're moving right along. We got a short par four, 290 from these back tees to the front edge. I'm gonna go ahead and just send driver up there. It's kind of right over this left tree line for our shot tracer view there, but trying to rip a nice high draw, get us somewhere close to that green. Yeah, so we do just that, but I caught some tree. Eee, I don't know about that one, crew. Tried to cut off a little bit too much of that hole. I caught a branch at the top left of that first tree. I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried, honestly. Let's see what we got. Not my best effort there off the tee. Uh, hole's about 293. This one about 210, probably. Caught a tree uh, directly off the tee box. I was kind of a little bit of an optimist in my description of it. Off the tee there, it caught a, uh, it caught a lot of tree and it dropped right down. So we still have 100 yards into this one. I also have tree trouble. So all of a sudden the gettable par four has my, uh, my full attention here. So a little punch shot up there, try and get it to the, to the pin. So a good one there. Went right at the flag stick. We shall see. Hopefully a tap in birdie, but no such thing as a tap in today though. If you're missing the two footer on the first hole, probably will have to be like maybe on the lip. I might give it to myself, we'll see. So just a little deep, a little deep with that punch shot, but very happy with that one there to hit a green had no idea what the green looked like up here kind of forgot if there was a bunker up front or not thankfully there was not the bunker was long and we just got a a lengthy birdie putt here so but that was a good good little eight iron punch shot right at the pin the whole way let me try and steal a bird here at the at the third a little dr seuss action too for the people there up and out to the right Good try. Got a, a knee knocker here now. All of a sudden, eight inch putts. Seem a little deep. Good four there though. Even par, no damage done. Let's keep it moving. So a good par there. Good par from behind the trees. 290 yard par four. Uh, a little harder than you want to work, but tap in par. Can't complain about that. Onto the fourth hole of the day. This is 265 to the middle of the, uh, to the, middle of the green, that's the word. Couple of short par fours in a row here. I am not gonna pull the big dog. As you can probably tell at home, I've, I've been lifting, I've been juicing, so it could go into the into the trees behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it up with a four wood. This max is at about, about 240. Haven't been lifting that much, I guess. We'll see what we can do here. Lay one up right to the front of that green side bunker. That one is absolutely murdered. So that's like the left edge of that bunker in front of the green. That's up there though. That's up there talking about. Oh, okay, grab that tea, that's good. So a good tee ball here at the short par four. Got that one up here about, about 250 or so. Also, I thought I pulled it, but that was probably a good thing to keep it out of this front green side trap so all in all not a lot of complaints on a lot of I don't know if these are four leaf clovers necessarily but on some kind of a clover which definitely can't bring bad luck I don't think I think it only helps so decent lie on top of them too sitting up nice a lot of green to work with this is all on you now Frank you can't really place it better here kid so I think I got under it a little bit roll out for me roll out roll out Kind of, kind of, pretty good there. We gotta look at birdie, let's go ahead and make one. 
All right, so we'll take this now. I'm actually very happy that I didn't hit it how I wanted to. We got a big down slope right after this pin that probably would have taken that all the way off the green. I probably landed that about five yards short of where I wanted to, and it turned out right. Also, there's an art as well, too, of me just not saying any of that out loud. Why not just act like that was exactly what I was trying to do? Just too honest of a, of a vlogger to do that. Letting you know exactly what's going down in the head. Sometimes you get lucky. I did there. Try and take advantage with our first birdie of the day. Short part four. And we do just that. So a good three there. Good up and down from the green side on that approach shot. That's a birdie. One under par through four here at Grand Oaks Country Club, AKA South Shore. Let's go to the fifth. So under par we go, one under par. That's a pretty easy three hole stretch there. Two, three, and four. Got a short par five, two short par four. So it's at least to get, it's good, good to at least get one there. And now we come to a pretty tough dog leg right par five at our fifth hole. See what we got here. Good confident swing, trying to split this pretty narrow fairway. Oh, really good ball there. So a good little baby cut, a little one yard cut right in the middle of the, of the fur. And we're out there, big bounce too. That's position A up there, people. Let's go two birdies in a row here. So you'll have to take my word for that last one. We had some shot tracer technical difficulties. Uh, you're probably saying, wow, Frank, pretty uh, convenient that you hit the high bomb right down the middle and the shot tracer is dead. I got nothing not to say for you. That's all we got. We're here though, middle of the fairway. Nice trustworthy approach shot here. Trying to lay one up about buck 40. I know I'm laying up. It'd be what it be. Good smooth swing right up the middle. Hopefully not too far. Sit down. All right, so kind of ran through the fairway a little bit. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you have a look here still. Let's make a birdie, it's a long par five. So good layup there. I thought it went a little through the fairway, but we had a little extra fairway down here, which was a nice surprise. And now we have one of those shots where it's like almost too good of a number. It seems like something must be up. We got just 129 to the stick right here. Should be just a perfect gap wedge. And, uh, but just again, a little mysterious. Just, just seems like a little too good of a number. Try and put this thing in the jar. A little left of it. Let's see if it's a good stick though. Oh! <sighs> All right. So I guess a little too good of a number. I think it might be playing downhill like a club now that I look at it. Right over the stick. I talked myself right into that though. I was like, something's up here. Something's too good. Right at it. Uh, just a club too long. Let's try and make it up and down. So just a devastating uh, turn of events here. You can see that I just, just kind of took it literally right over the stick, started a little bit left of it, started fading back. I, uh, I had some visions of, of glory in my head there. Thought I, I literally thought I might've put that directly in the hole at one point, and then to see it land a club length over. A little bit of a dagger, a little bit of a dagger, but nothing, we can't get up and down here now. Once again on the Lucky Clovers, got up and down last time in the last hole off them. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can do it again here. A little downhill with this chip. Oh man! <laughs> Gave it a look. Gave it a look. Even that one was a little bit, a little bit deep. Now all of a sudden we got some work to do for our par. Back up the hill though, which is good. Gave it a peak, which could have been something. But you can see it now actually too, more so from my view looking back up on it. That thing is straight downhill, that chip. So probably should have landed even a little further up. Stop thinking about that one, focus on this. This is firm, left edge, it's looking like. Nope, so I pulled it just a little, but kind of a misread too though, that was straight in. And a tough one, bogey there at the long par five, make the birdie there at the fourth. Go ahead and give it right back there on the fifth. Let's try and make some more birdies here coming down the stretch. So never fun to make bogeys on the par fives. If there's one, one par five to make a bogey on though, that's a pretty tough one here. Pretty known on the, 
on the island as a difficult hole. That fifth hole here south shore and uh, you definitely don't want to be long of the pin like that. I now learned after that chip shot way downhill, catching myself thinking about the last hole again here. Let's start talking about the sixth hole instead. We got a buck 42 to that stick. My pitching wedge maxes out at about 140. So I'm out of breath right now because I just got done doing about 50 push-ups to hopefully muscle this thing the rest of the way and will it up to that, that back left pin location. Good smooth pitching wedge here. Control this face. I uh, pulled it, tried to hit it too hard. It's gonna be left side of the green. Maybe left, miss it left. Yeah, so it kind of just dropped off. I think I'm on the left side of the green up there. A little thin, kind of came up and out of my posture. I've had better golf swings in my day. Let's try and get it up and down here for our par at the sixth. So a little bit of a, uh, a yank there and a little thin too. So I actually wound up going deep. A little thin shot came out hot and now some work to do again for our par. A little chip down the hill. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. So as you can tell, Kind of new from the jump there, that was a little deep. Came off real clean. Another good lie though, sitting right up on a, like a tee for us. Came out a little hot. Working hard for our, our pars here on this last couple hole, holes. Just firm on the, on the right edge here. So a good stroke there, so a good par. <laughs> Got a uh, good save. Another one of those downhill chip shots. Learned my lesson a little bit from the fifth hole. And we're gonna stay at even par here through six. We'll see you at the seven T. So we are trugging right along here at South Shore. One bogey, one birdie, even par through uh, through our first six holes of the day. We're on to the seventh hole. Just a little straightaway par four. Kind of a cool design. One tier there in the fairway. Another tier up to that green. So it's playing uphill the whole way. And starts with a good solid tee shot. So that one's killed right up the left side, over top the left path, and in a good spot. So a good high draw there, a little bit of a pull, but uh, we got away with it. Let's go make a birdie here, get to, get to some under par here at South Shore. Make some birdies, let's do it. So I think the push-ups from the sixth tee paid off there on the seventh, the seventh tee. That was a poke, that was a poke, and that's, a, and that's, a, uh, that's one for the skinny team out there. A lot of skinny guys out there get a lot of grief not hitting the ball far, pound for pound. That was a little 300 up the hill. Now it's tough to talk smack before your approach shot, maybe after the birdie, because there's still, still a whole lot that can go wrong here. But again, just a shout out to the, the skinny community. Um, just swing faster. 70 yards. That's right at it. Let's see if it's a number. Should be pretty darn good there. Let's see, try to make a birdie here. I miss being under par. I really do. Let's get back there. We got a good one. Right distance. Couldn't really see anything there. Let's fix a let's fix a couple marks out here. Grounds crew is crushing it. I actually heard they just really did the whole T box, all the T boxes rather, out here, and they're doing a great job having them all come back, which is good. So a little bit of work now up the hill. Not too much in it. A little left to right. Should be aggressive with this one though. Looks a little up the hill. Yeah. So that's a uh, that's a lot of lit. Try and come up into some kind of excuse there. Got absolutely nothing. Missed my line. That's gonna be two putts now. That kind of haunts us a little bit. Even par. So a little bit of a missed opportunity there on the seventh, but moving right along, trying to stick one here at the eighth. Got a buck 54 to a front pin location. I got a nice smooth nine iron. Just drifting a little right of the pin. I think I'm gonna be chipping, let's say. Whoa, way deep. So almost took out our boys uh, on the group in front of us. I think it's the Wheaties or something. I have no idea what's going on, but just literally 15 yards over the green, so. So a little deep there. Got the uh, kind of the right, right way, wrong club. But just caught it pretty good though, so just jumped a little bit. Probably went out to about 160 instead of that 
152-ish or so. So a little work here, another downhill chip. A lot of long iron shots today. So it slowed up, slowed up pretty good. Still kind of rolling out past though. Not a lot of, I kind of like not bringing the putter up for these. Tapping it in with the foot or something. These make you think a little bit. But this is, uh, this is straight in though. Make a straight putt, firm. So good up and down. So three times there at the par three. A little errant with the uh, approach shot. But three times, we'll take a par. On to the ninth. All right, so good up and down there at the eighth hole. Cut in some more greens here back in New York. Working a little bit too hard. Got a, another long par five into the wind now too. Gotta go up and over a hill there in the middle of the fairway. Good confidence swing. Wow, clean living. So probably the worst swing of the day, but uh, trees are 90% air. And I caught the 90%, uh, go make a par. All right, so a little lucky on the tee ball there. A little bit of a, a pull, but hit it hard enough to get through the trees and wound up being in a, a decent spot, but still a ways out though. Did not hit that one well, 265 to the hole. Uh, I do not have that one in me today, especially not out of this lie we got ourselves into. So I'm gonna try and just throw a hybrid up there on the right side of the hole about 225, 230 or so. Good smooth swing. Yeah, so a good one. Might not be in more right down the middle. A little bit of draw spin on it, rolling out, should have Inside a hundo, try and make our birdie at under par here from South Shore Golf Course. Let's do it. So we got position A here for our layup shot. About 40 yards left or so to this back pin. Try and be real aggressive and get under par here to finish up our video at South Shore. So pretty good touch, just a little bit short. I probably should have landed that thing up on that top ridge. Luckily to roll up to the top of it, but a uh, up a birdie putt. I make one, not my best effort there. So I gotta watch it there. Our boy Mike behind the camera does not miss a beat. I think my mom watches these vlogs. She just caught me texting and driving the golf cart. Also had my foot carelessly out of the cart, so I apologize. Bad example to the viewers at home. Maybe our boy will cut this for me too, though. Absolutely sniping everything out there. So back to what we were saying, not my, uh, not my best effort, but we did get it up here on the correct level, which is good. But uh, once again, a lot of work to be done. But luckily this is for our birdie and not our par. Bump that thing up a little bit, like we've been doing most of the day. I think about as straight as it could be. Try and walk one here, walk one in here on the last. Nice and firm. Oh, man. Oh, all right, so a really good putt at it. I guess I just put it on the right edge, kind of, instead of uh, instead of right in the heart. Won't get the job done. Even par, though, here at South Shore. We'll catch you guys in the outro. And that'll do it for the video today, guys. Even par at South Shore Golf Course. A bogey, a birdie, and a lot of pars. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more from us below. And we'll see you guys next time on the channel. Thanks again for watching.